you ever wonder that when you're eating well, if you can have a burger? You see people um, eating burger, you say no to so many different uh, foods, and in reality, there's a lot of foods that we can still make that um, we just have to change our cooking method. Um, we just have to change what we actually put into the, to the, um, you know, the, the ingredients we're using to, to make these things like burgers. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a turkey burger. Um, I don't know if you can really call it a turkey burger because I'm going to use all of these veggies as well. So it's like a veggie turkey burger of some sort. Um, but you're welcome to um, follow me while I do this. So I'm actually going to do a pound of turkey because this is actually going to feed my family. Um, there are five of us. And if you're one person, then you just modify um, the amounts that we're using. So this is a pound of ground turkey that I got from the local butcher. And I have two cups of spinach. I just chopped it up um, so that they can... Um, because once, it, once it's cooked, it'll kind of will, and it just makes it um, even smaller than it, than it is now. So, um, so I do that. I'll just mix it a little bit just to give, it, give myself some room in the pan. So I really like when my burgers are um, hearty like this. I actually will put, sometimes I'll like, you know, saute the onions aside and maybe some mushrooms. Or on occasion, I just stick them right in. Sometimes I actually stuff my burger um, with with the mushrooms or um, with the sautéed onions. Um, I'll just make like a small patty and then press it down and then add my my sautéed veggie. Sometimes I'll even stuff it with a slice of cheddar cheese. So there's that. With a little more, and then I took a half an onion and I just diced it. Um, I like red onions. I just so happen to have. Um, a regular yellow onion still available in my refrigerator. So I'm basically just folding it in, making like a little pocket, and then pressing it down so that it incorporates completely into the meat. All the ingredients incorporate. So this kind of burger, my whole family will eat it. Even my Gavin. When he first sees everything on the cutting board, he goes, oh, I don't want to eat all of that. But then once it's cooked down, he doesn't even realize half of the stuff that's in there. So there are three sweet peppers. I just simply, they're mini sweet peppers. Um, I just simply slice them and actually they're, they're a little bit bigger than, than a dice. Um, but that's just one of the ingredients that I add to it. And it adds like a really nice sweetness. I do top my burger with um, you know all the toppings like onion and ketchup or um, mustard. Sometimes I top it with bean sprouts. I really like bean sprouts. They don't keep very long though, so I try not to buy them too often unless I'm going to use them like the same day or even the day the next day. That's it. There is my turkey veggie burger mix. I like it chunky. I really like it chunky because it gives my, it lets me feel like I'm eating something fun. So now I'm just going to take, let's see, I always measure a cup based on a baseball size. So I take about a baseball size of my meat mixture and I just roll it gently. I use my thumb to kind of keep it in my hand and round the edges. And then I push down on the middle and then I have some parchment paper and I just place it there. The nice thing about having parchment paper and making this mixture is I can always freeze it. I can always put it in the fridge for tomorrow or for like I can pre um, prepare this in the morning and then all I have to do is pull it out and then put the patty actually on the pan itself and cook it like I would a regular burger. So I would put this on a hot pan probably medium-high heat, uh, and then I would just kind of sear it and just let it cook. One thing I don't do is I don't press on the on the burger. Um, I just leave it uh, so that all the juices stay in the middle, and then I flip it after a few minutes, um, really just like four or five minutes on each side. Um, definitely check it just to make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. I don't want you to eat something that's not cooked completely. 
but they're decent sized burgers. I mean, actually, I'm probably, well, I'm going to get more than four burgers. I'm definitely going to get my five in. And that's it. Like, this is, it's that easy. It didn't take very long. Um, my son Gavin, a lot of times, and my son Abraham will help me prep the vegetables. So they just help me um, cut it and... Um, and then they're just ready. Sometimes I'll dice the vegetables in the morning. And, and sometimes I just don't use it until later, later in the afternoon, which is fine by me. So there you go. So now I'm going to wash my hands. Um, but that's it. That's my burgers. And you again, you can use um, any kind of meat that you enjoy. Um, but make sure it's a lean cut. Um, I did use three sweet peppers, mini sweet peppers. Two cups of finely chopped um, spinach. I did use a half of a yellow onion, although you can use red or even Vidalia onions. That would be good. Um, and then I just, uh, you can season it however you'd like. I do a little salt and pepper on occasion. I normally let all the ingredients kind of um, decide what the flavor is going to be like. I trust them all. Um, but some people like to add a little salt and pepper or whatever your favorite burger um, seasoning is, you're welcome to use that as well. So I'll let that be um, something that you decide. Um, but what I would like is if you could comment and tell me what exactly you used to season your um, your burger. You can go to she is my fitness she's my fitness coach at gmail.com. Um, you can visit me on my Facebook. Uh, inbox me if you'd like and um, or just share in the regular comment section underneath the video I, w I really do want to know what how you like your version of your burger so um, can't wait to hear from you